Hi, everybody. It's Stacey Sibble from Salon today. I'm so excited today. We have my good friend, Ronit Enos, and she has a new book out. Here it is. I'm so proud of you for, for writing this book. Thank but if you. you don't know Ronit, she is a longtime stylist. She was the owner of Maxime Salons. She's the founder of Salon Cadence and a Profit First coach. And now she has a she came out a book with Profit First Salons. So, Ronit, tell me a little bit about Profit First. This was a concept by it's Michael McCowell. I know, I know. So he, Michael Motorcycle, he called himself. And that's how you <laughs> find him on the internet. Yes. Uh, bestseller, best New York Times bestseller, Mike McCallowitz, who wrote so many business books. Uh, and and is a very successful business owner, but more than anything, he's a go-giver. So he um, wrote Mike McCallum, it's Profit First, um, was the very first book. And, it, you know, it's been practice for uh, around the world, his method, uh, for over, I think about, about over 300,000 businesses. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, when you sold Maxine Salon, you, you took the training for Profit First and became a certified coach. And that's what you started with, with, with Salon Cadence. And then he allowed you to, to adapt these principles to salons and test them and then write a book about Profit First and salons. And it's a great, I love the way you wrote this because each chapter talks about an owner's story and shares a story, and then there's a lesson. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit about some of the owners that you feature in the book and some of the things that were going on with them. And these, I, these are your coaching clients, I presume. Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, um, so Salon Cadence is a white glove teaching and training company. Um, it helps um, salon and spa owners, anybody in the beauty industry, uh, really excel at their profits, you know. Uh, but the profit is is got, you know, the big word profit. And we all think about in terms of money, right? We think about how can we be more um, successful. And so profit is to, to me has always been about time. You know, how can I earn my time back? How can I get my life back? And um, money is something that doesn't really, um, I, I would say it's not everything, but it definitely touches everything. And so if you're going to be working your bum off all the time and all the time, but you're not actually going to get uh, to the place that you really want to get, where you can actually enjoy your time, then there is no profit. There is no profit life. So you need to become profitable in that. And, um, you know, so Profit First is, I, I practice Profit First at Maxime, at my salons. And um, at that time, Mike McCallowitz didn't write the Profit First book, but he wrote a different book that when I read the, um, the concept of that book, it really resonated with me. And I practice it at my salon and when we did that we went from you know no profit to six figures profit in the wow. seven world and so yeah so to me it was okay I know we have uh, benchmarks I know we have standards of, uh, of of what we should be doing or shooting for but the truth is you do not have to have those standards if you can set yourself your own standards what you really want mm -hmm. And so um, when we implemented that, that was really successful. And years later, uh, when um, I knew that I wanted to exercise this method with our own members, um, we went through the certification. I implemented that method with a few of our salons and it was really successful or needed to be adopted, needed to be you know, um, adjusted a bit to our salons, a little bit more than a bit. Um, and Obviously, that book was uh, was born. But the funny thing is, when Mike and I discussed uh, writing the book, it was a year before the pandemic, and we decided, okay, let's let's take it on, let's write it. As a matter of fact, Shelley North pushed me 
to write it. Bill pushed me to write it. And I was always like, I don't know, this is not the right time. This is not the right time. But we decided to do it. And then COVID happened. So we decided to put it maybe on hold. But more than anything, that book was born at COVID time. And each person that we have in this book who represents some segment of success of Profit First was actually practiced through COVID. And their story is so resilient and it's so real and it's so true that there was no better time to write the book during COVID. And, you know, Stacy, you know me, I, 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 I don't just speak it, I really do it. And um, the exercise, the practice of finding the time to write a book was actually in during pandemic, right? So that's when the book came up and we, we have all these resilient stories that actually prove the concept how it works well. So share one of the owners and one of the stories that you, you tell in the book. Um, well, we, we there's about, there's seven of them. Um, the very first one uh, was um, Glenn Jackson G, uh, who is a barber. I met him at um, a conference in uh, Fairbanks, Alaska. And, you know, we were, I was doing a workshop and I was telling everybody my story, how I was not unprofitable for years in my business. And even though I had some little bit profit, it was very minimal profit. And when I was telling the story and how the profit first method uh, was integrated in Salon Cadence and how it's changed um, my, uh, my money story, G was able, okay, hold on. Sorry about that. You're going to have to edit that piece. No, I just, it's okay. It's life. It happens, right? Good, good. Well, that was my sister calling from Israel. So G, G uh, listened to that. And um, I looked at his face and I say, um, G, right? I, I can see your face. You're nodding for everything. Well, what does that mean to you? And he says to me, you know, Renee, I said, you said, Renee, this is so easy. I don't understand why I have not done it all these years, this makes so sense, so much sense to me. And I asked him, well, what, would, what would you do if you become profitable? What would you do with that profit? And he said to me, you know, for years I've been trying to take my daughter to the movies. I would love to sit in a movie from the beginning of the movie all the way to the end without falling asleep and actually be with my daughter and not be exhausted and tired um, of working so hard, you know, running and chasing the profit goal. And I'm so excited. And of course, years later, a couple of years later, while he implemented it, um, his dream was to be able to live in Alaska and in a warm place and be in between places and create an environment for his barbers where they can be really successful. And that's the story he, you know, he's, he's got an amazing story. You have to read it, but he was, um, you know, he was an inmate in prison and his goal was to, to get out of prison and build businesses that support other uh, barbers doing the same and being, become very wow. successful. What an amazing and story. Amazing, amazing. So that's one of them. Um, you know, we have Anna Walsh who started her salon um at um you know she's a she's a Lola right yeah Lola in Cambridge Massachusetts she's a uh, winner's uh, best salon 200 uh, numerous times and when she started she did not she she knew she will be successful she knew you know she was a salon manager she was a great stylist she she had this vision of how she's going to be opening her salon and how she's going to grow but a year later she's like well I really don't know the numbers I, I, I know what I know by being a salon manager, by being a stylist for a long time, for a long time. But I realize that if I want to grow, I need to understand the numbers game. And so um, she implemented, we impl she was one of the, actually the salon cadence uh, beta when we started Profit First and we worked with it. And amazing, you know, she went from uh, 
three hundred thousand dollars and uh, three years later she's going to break the million she's going to be at the million point two but the most important thing she's living a profitable life uh, she her salon does not rely on her production at the chair as a matter of fact if tomorrow she decided she no longer wants to to be uh, a stylist then she can be she is a ceo in her business that's what she can do uh, she takes numerous vacation a year she takes last year we celebrate uh, we we do this exercise at salon cadence how many weeks competition have you taken off this year uh and last year six weeks with one hundred and twenty thousand wow. dollars yeah hundred twenty thousand dollars income after paying uncle sam after putting profitable and impacting people around her do, to do the same thing so that's another uh great story but all of these stories all of these people are so doable are so possible um, you can really create a profitable life. So the book helps salon owners um, pay themselves as an owner, find more time, maybe step down out from behind the chair and and uh, work on their business and also reserve some profit that can be vet invested back into the company mm -hmm. to, you know, whatever you need it for it to do. Um, share one of the lessons behind that you teach in one of the chapters or. Um, um, well, so a good tip for, for pretty much, uh, for everybody is, um, and, and that, that walks you through with, with the book is, you know, you gotta think first about yourself. You gotta really, really think about yourself first. Um, and you gotta be honest with yourself. You gotta be honest with what is it that you really want to achieve mm -hmm. um, in, 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 from your salon? What do you really want to, to build? What is it going to, what is profit gonna actually give you? And, and the most important thing is to really be clear with that. And once you know what, you really want, then now you can design everything to work for that. Yeah. Right? So, and we all know that we know how to make money. We know how to bring um, clients. We know how to get busy. I mean, we were taught at school, booked solid. I mean, there are people out there that speak about or even teach classes and they call it booked solid. But the thing is, working harder is not going to get you to the level that you need to be. Adding another client or adding another service is not going to get you to the place that you want to be. You know how it is, Stacey, we work, we work harder and harder and we think that if we're going to do one more thing today from that big to-do list, we're going to get tomorrow we'll catch up to where we always want to be. And that never happens. Right. So we teach you to reverse engineer your thinking of how you can make that happen now, not tomorrow, now. And so uh, we use something that calls the principle of um, how not to use the online banking principle. And I know that's gonna sound kind of funny, but I'm sure everybody is going to um, relate to this. What do we do when we look at our bank account? So we look at our phone and today, all we do is we look at our phone. We look at our phone and there's something on, uh, we look at our account and how many accounts most people really have? Maybe one, maybe two, the most, maybe they have a third one that's a saving account. But really they look at, at one account. So when they look at the account, right? There's like in that account, there's, uh, oh, it says that I have $20,000 in my account. Yippee, you know that sink I always wanted to, to buy? I'm gonna buy it because I have money in that account. But what we don't see is the true picture of what's really in that bank account because we can't. It's like being in a forest and there's so many transactions going on in and out and time-wise and all. You never really know where you are. So what do we do? We spend that money, we go and we buy that sink 
And then four or five days later, we look at our bank and now there's like, wait a second, there's only $3,000 and payroll is coming. And you're like, oh my God, I just bought my whole payroll sink. And that's what we call online banking. And that's and how- And I'm not saving for taxes. And I'm not saving for taxes. I'm not planning for payroll. I don't have a fund for maintenance or whatever might need to be fixed in the salon. But I got a new sink. But I got a new sink and it's not even here yet. Oh, wow. It's going to be here in six months. So I can't really shampoo hair as much as I want to, right? So now what happened, it's like we're chasing that profit again. And that's a typical online banking uh, because we don't know what we don't know. And by the way, it's not our fault. It's absolutely not our fault. We were taught that way. And 70% and of businesses practice it that way. It's called the gap. And, you know, it's like that big thing, like what we call the profit and loss, where none of us want to look at profit and loss. Because if when you look at profit and loss, you're like, I don't even understand that, right? Nobody wants to read that. And not, nobody reads that. Because the truth is that profit and loss is not going to tell you the truth of what's in there. It can't, it's not supposed to. So the thing is what we, we suggest with the profit, um, uh, profit, profit First is that we're gonna do something different. We're gonna create five accounts, not one, five. And we're going to allocate to each account a certain amount of money. We, we, we have a formula and we do an assessment and we create that assessment and it's in the book, but for simple terms, we're going to deviate and allocate every week or every two weeks the right amount that we know needs to be there. So now when I look at my, at my account, I know exactly what on this account is, this account, this account, this account. And then, you know what? If you want to buy a sink, buy a sink. So it's not about um, changing habits. It's utilizing your habits of looking at accounts but seeing them so clearly. So that's the one thing that is great is to do five. Now the beauty- What thing, are the five? So the first one is the income account, which that's where you get all the deposits. So nothing goes out, only deposits. When you look at the income, then you have your profit account, which is the company profit. You know, that's the rewards that, uh, that your company gets or you get for owning a company, for working hard for your company. And then the third one is owner's income. That's for being a good CEO, owner's income. Then you have your tax, Uncle Sam, because we all know if we don't pay Uncle Sam, we get to be in jail. And then, and then the, the uh, last one is operation, OPX. Those are the five accounts. But wait, there's more. There's two more accounts. Those other two accounts are in a different bank. They stay at a different bank. And the beauty of it, that every month at the end of the month, we transfer everything that from the profit account to the other bank, everything that is the tax account to the other bank. And it's compound incremental growth. And that's the beauty of Profit First. And you know what? All the stories that are in the book have been doing this through COVID, Stacy, through COVID. And we're able to buy a house, a dream that came true for Kalina, who is a Salon 200 winner. Jenna, well, her dream was to, um, to leave the chair and become a true visionary of her company, her CEO of the company. And guess what? Through the pandemic, she had two walkouts. All through that, and we all experienced wow. many things. She was able to really work with Salon Cadence and Profit First for salons to achieve, um, you know, her dream. She, and that's another thing. It makes you focus, makes you focus on that profit goal, makes you focus on what you're supposed to do. And the best part of it, Stacy, which resonate with me more than anything, is that I didn't have to wait for my accountant to tell me what am I supposed to pay Uncle Sam. I didn't have to ask anybody how and what am I going to spend my money on. And the third thing is I am so savvy 
with money, so savvy with numbers that I make my own decision. What am I going to do with that? You know, and that's that's the beauty of of simple system. And I imagine that once this is in place and for the, the, the owners that you were coaching before the pandemic, it laid a, a solid foundation and they were able to weather something like a pandemic or a walkout a little easier because everything was already organized. They knew what they had. They could focus on what they, they had yeah. or what they could draw from and, and rebuild. So exactly. It's the, it's the pro- predictability. If you don't yeah. have predictability in your business, you're walking in this forest that you cannot see where you're going and you cannot think and you cannot be you know, um, you, you get stressed, you know, you get really stressed. And, um, I see it over and over again. Um, this people think that, that the source of it all is I don't have enough money to do things. I don't have enough people. Uh, I cannot find people, you know, these are all stories we keep telling ourselves. but the truth is that's not the truth. The truth is that we don't know we don't have that blueprint. We don't have the idea of how to simplify things. And so that's helpful. And, you know, going, uh, we all heard the big R word, you know, the recession is coming. <clears throat> I always say winter is coming, winter is coming and winter is coming. And how are you going to prepare for it? Right. How are you going to prepare for it? You got to have predictability and you need to prepare for it now. And so, um, you know, how are you going to take the recession and make it your year of succession? And that's, that's the year, that's the year to thrive. These people thrived in these times. So anyone can. Well, Roni, where can people get the book? Mm -hmm. Well, you can go to Amazon Mm -hmm. and get Profit First for Salon, read it. And please leave me a review afterwards. We get every day so many um, people saying how much they love the book, a lot of questions. Um, You can also go to Profitable Salon and Spa on Facebook group and register there because we're doing a lot of Profit First tips um, and a lot of classes. We're launching six weeks Profit First Challenge in September. So go to, um, to my site and register for that, Profit First, um, Profit First Salons. That's the actually book uh, website. Um, and you can just go to, our, uh, to Instagram, uh, ronit.enos and uh, follow us and you will know everything about the Sequest Challenge if you wanted to join us. Great, well, thank you so much for joining me. So proud of you for writing this book and um... I can't wait till people dig in and and start making, finding the profits within their businesses. Thank you, Stacey. This was great. Thanks for having me. And um, how are you, what are you going to do in your profitable week this week? I'm going on vacation. (laughs) So long plan for vacation. I'm not going to take my computer. I'm not going to work and I'm just going to truly enjoy a few days. So. Any, any good books? I have to, t- I'm taking this one. <laughs> okay. So good Thank to see you. Thanks so much for joining me. And um, hello out to everyone out there. Go get Ronit's book and make a difference in your life and your business. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you. having me.